So now that I've thoroughly beat the subjects of IP addressing and networks and subnets into the ground, let's go on to our next subject, which is MAC addresses. Like an IP address, a MAC address is another way of identifying a computer on a network. However, unlike an IP address, a MAC address is not what we would call configurable. A computer does not receive its MAC address automatically, and we cannot go in there and set it ourselves. A MAC address is burned into a network device's hardware permanently at the manufacturer. And it looks something like this. A MAC address allows all the fancy schmancy upper level networking layers and protocols to communicate with a network device at the hardware level, which is why it's also referred to as a hardware address. Some internet service providers will require your computer's MAC address in order to enable your internet connection to them. A lot of times when you hook up a router to your home network you will lose your internet connection to your ISP because the router has a different MAC address than your PC. So what routers will do is they'll include what's called a cloning utility which allows it to take on the MAC address of your PC and it appears to your ISP that you're still running the same computer with the same MAC address. Probably one of the most important purposes of a MAC address is the way it works with a DHCP server. I'll explain DHCP in greater detail later, but a DHCP server uses a computer's MAC address to identify computers and figure out which computer has which IP address. Another important use of MAC addresses is called MAC address filtering. Basically, what this allows you to do is to set up your router to only accept wireless associations with computers that have certain MAC addresses. When a computer tries to connect to your wireless network, the router will look at its table of MAC addresses, and if it doesn't find that computer's MAC address, it does not allow a connection. This is actually quite a good form of security, although it can be spoofed, but it's very easy to set up, as you'll see later. Okay, so how do we go about finding our computer's MAC address? The way we do that is by using the same IP configuration utility we used before when we're looking for our IP address. Basically, we just go to Start, and this time we'll go Command Shell, and then we type in IP CONFIG forward slash all. Now, in this case, I'm only using one network card. And there's our MAC address right there, physical address. And there's all those crazy hexadecimal numbers. Now, another important thing I forgot to mention about MAC addresses is theoretically, each MAC address is unique, as in unique in the entire world. So while it's very possible to have an IP address conflict, it's not very likely that you'll ever have a physical address or MAC address conflict. 